What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris loot from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was Asylum and this map is pretty decent for Trials in my opinion. Very good for small team and game modes. It's a very small map though so it's favoring a lot of shotguns, a lot of fire bolts and that kind of stuff but you still can utilize different playstyles on this map as well so pretty good. And we also got some decent stuff for the week, so let's get into it. Starting off with my first character on my Hunter from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves a Water Star Hand Cannon and four Motes of Light. And this one came in at 316 with the Range Finder. No, not Range Finder, it always comes with Range Finder. It came with the Underdog perk, I believe, so not bad, not bad. We got 316, that's pretty decent for my first one. And then for my Trials Bounties on my Hunter, we got some Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Blue Engrams, Legendary Marks. From the Silver tier, we got no Exotic there. And from the Gold tier, we ended up getting a Reflection Sum, a normal one. And this one came in at 303 with Hidden Hand on it. So not really that great of a Gold tier. I'd prefer an Armor Piece or something like that. So not very good on that first set of Bounties. And then moving on to my next character on my Titan from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves a, another Reflection Sum, an Adept one, and this one came in at 311 with Headseeker on it, so not really the greatest on that one. And then for the bounties on my Titan, we ended up getting some more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. From my silver tier, we ended up getting unlucky once again, no exotic there. And from the gold tier, we got nothing because it was sent to my postmaster. I guess my inventory was full for whatever it was. And it ended up being the Trials Shotgun at 308. So Binary Dawn at 308. I'm not a really big fan of this shotgun, even though it has rangefinder and the stats on it are pretty decent. But uh, I prefer other shotguns like Conspiracy Theory, Party Crasher. Those are definitely way better for Crucible in my opinion. And then for my last Lighthouse of the week on my Warlock, we ended up getting another Reflection Sum Adept and 6 Motes of Light. This one came in at 312 with Hidden Hand once again. So not really the greatest drop on that last one. And then for my last set of Trials Bounties on my Warlock, we ended up getting some more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks, as well as Blue Engrams. From the Silver tier, we got a No Exotic once again, and for the Gold tier, we got a Ghost Shell. I haven't gotten this in quite a while, but uh, the Ghost Shell came in at 304. I'm not even sure if it can come in higher than like 310. But um, yeah, that was kind of a bummer on that last one as well. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Exciting stuff with the news that came in in the Bungie blog this week at Bungie. So I made a video on that if you guys want to check it out. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!